Good afternoon everybody, a uh, rainy Saturday afternoon here in uh, North London. Um, I just got from Amazon a book, the Mardis War source book. Um, as you can see, it's um, a compilation of uh, articles that originally appeared in the magazine Savage and Soldier, which uh, I believe was monthly, um, some years ago actually. And what they've done basically is they've taken all the articles um, for the Sudan from 1883 to 1885, um, just after the Gordon Relief Expedition, and put them all in one book. Um, it's actually quite nicely done. The only thing, the first thing that I noticed um, was that the paper, um, it's not glossy paper, it's a little bit dull and... Um, it gives the impression on some of the pictures at least of uh, something that was photocopied um, it's slightly better quality than that I mean I, I've had books before which disappointingly um, have have looked very photocopied although they're obviously bound and uh, you know they, they, they look proper but uh, the, the quality of the paper and the pictures in, in some publications which I won't mention are, are such that they do look as if they've been photocopied. Uh, this book, um, as I say, it, it details here the articles and where they came from, what particular issues. And uh, there is a second edition which takes the, uh, the story from uh, 1885 right up to Omdurman at 1898-99. It's altogether not a bad book. I mean, it's very much, uh, very much uh, aimed towards war gamers. Um, flags, unit details, uh, orders of battle, uh, units that took part in in most of the main actions, Egyptian flags, and uh, Mardis flags and and uniforms and uh, you know it's all in there. As I say, the only disappointing thing for me was the. The quality of the paper was such that it um, it took away somewhat from uh, any feeling of quality. Um, it's a little bit more robust than, uh, for example, Go Strong Into the Desert, the, the other book that I looked at the other day. Um, there is, uh, and, and I should say, it's uh, I believe it's mainly Amer American authors. Um, very well written and... Uh, very very you know it, it actually is very uh well put i mean most of the information we, we we've seen before in other books but um it's very comprehensive it's it's very very well laid out and very well thought out uh as i say some of the color pages um you know they could have done with being uh on glossy paper but uh nevertheless um I mean, this is clearly better than photocopy. It's um, it, it's quite good quality, but just not not of the uh, the shiny paper variety, which uh, Bashi Bazooks there. Um, large number of uh, photograph paintings, uh, you know, artifacts from the period. Uh, as I say, detailed um, listings of units of the British and Egyptian armies and uh, and what battles they took pl took part in. Uh, some good old names there, really. Yorks and Lancs, Seaforth Highlanders, Royal Irish Fusiliers, Royal Highlanders, Berkshires, West Kents. All sadly gone now, or amalgamated and... Uh, you know as good as gone uh, number of types of rifles uh, available to the British and others and um, picture of the man there the Mardi as depicted by uh, Laurence Olivier in the uh, classic film cartoon uh, as I say it's it's altogether a very nice book um, there's uh, quite a bit about the early campaigns when the uh, ill-equipped um, 
slightly disorganised, shall we say, Egyptian army went to try and uh, quell the Mahdi's rebellion and um, wound up with uh, various disasters, the, the main one being the disaster of Hicks, who was um, a British officer who led an army after the Mahdi's forces and um, I believe something like 10,000 men were lost in one of the greatest disasters ever to face um, to ever to overcome a modern army. Uh, Colonel John Stewart played in the film cartoon by Richard Johnson who was a uh, companion to uh, Charlton Heston's General Gordon and I did think Charlton Heston was quite good in that film I, I do like old Charlton Heston anyway I must confess but um, you know sometimes um, certain people turn their noses up to an American actor portraying a, a British hero but I thought he was very, very good. He's got tremendous screen presence. Um, some quite nice colour illustrations of the uh, the Camel Corps. And, um, as I say, a, n a number of diagrams, uh, drawings, which many of which we've seen before, but the uh, the book overall is very nice. I would, I would have to say, if you're interested in this period, it's... Uh, well worth a look. Um, this pretty much sums up uh, what the whole book is about and uh, and what's going on. And um, it's uh, a good synopsis of really what you're going to get. Uh, the reason I'm, I'm I've actually been uh, showing some books on the Sudan recently, I. Some of you may know, if you've watched previous videos, I completed some Swiss Renaissance infantry and um, I, I bought about five boxes of uh, Burgundian troops, uh, cavalry, um, archers, even artillery and infantry, knights, the whole lot. And I was determined to uh, to complete them, you know, we, uh, like finish up with... Uh, a collection for the Renaissance period. Um, I happened to see this book and um, I pulled out my other, before I ordered this, I pulled out my other book, The Go Strong Into the Desert, read through that and that, I'm afraid that hooked me and um, as you can see by the two boxes here, I've actually uh, done an about face. Uh, the Burgundians have been put to bed and um, I've picked up a couple of boxes. I've also got some Dervish infantry, so three boxes of hat figures for this era. Uh, Haddendauer Camelry and Taisha or Taishi Camelry, um, which are not my favourites because they've, they're, 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 they've got a very rubbery, waxy kind of um, feel to the figures. Nevertheless, I've, uh, on some recent advice I got, I've actually... Uh, Put the figures in uh, spirit vinegar. Uh, Going to leave them for two or three days, and and that really does decrease them quite well. So it should give me a fighting chance at uh, a, a decent paint service. I've also looked on because um, I've ordered some uh, British um, Camel Corps. Um, I've got three boxes of those. So it's about um, seventeen pounds um, purchase price. I've also looked on Newlin or Newline Designs, 20 millimeter. Um, I'm, I'm hoping they fit in with these figures. Uh, they've got a Sudan War range, so I've purchased some uh, Foot Camel Core. Uh, I did get a General Gordon figure. It was only 50 pence, and um, I've picked up some Highland Infantry and um, a small screw gun and uh, some Yorks and Lanks who weren't actually in the Gordon Relief Expedition but um, I would like to paint them up. So uh, I'm, I'm hoping everything ties together that the hat figures and the new line design figures do actually um, correspond. I, I know they, they new line had another range, they had a 172nd range but they didn't have anything for the Sudan in that range. I'm hoping 20 millimeter will pretty much go with 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 these figures. Um, I always thought that OH00 or 172nd was pretty much uh, 20 mil. 
I may be wrong on that. But uh, yeah, I've uh, I've done it again. I'm afraid I've invested in one period and then uh, done an about turn and uh, wound up with something else. But you know what it's like when you get the bug, and I've got a real enthusiasm at the moment for this uh, Sudan period. Uh, you just have to go with it, and uh, suddenly the Burgundians um, lost their magic, and so uh, I shall be. Uh, proceeding a pace with 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 these figures and hopefully the ones from newland delight um, newly new line design get it right will be coming through the post any day although they are from my wife for christmas so i've got a feeling they may be intercepted and, and wrapped up but i've got plenty to do with these hat figures anyway um the hat figures just show you the line drawings but um they're not at all bad, but they do have that waxy aspect to them. Um, slightly rubbery kind of, I, I, I don't know what they were thinking of. They used a very rubbery plastic. Um, in the state that it's in when it comes out the box, it's a little bit hard to um, to, to deal with, but uh, you certainly can't scrape flash off them. So you just hope that they're gonna be okay because getting flash off of them, this, this rubbery, sort of compound is is not fun but uh, anyway that's uh, that's what I'm about at the moment um, not a bad book uh, volumes one and two and as I say some of you or most of us will remember Savage and Soldier um, I, I seem to distantly remember the odd issue coming up um, but it's all it's all gathered together in this uh, source book and it's it's not bad Hope uh, you're all well out there and uh, and painting like crazy. Um, take care, everyone. Goodbye.